listen to test. I, I, I hit the button. I hit the fucking button. Um, uh, 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 internal screaming. Internal screaming. And very much external screaming. Very much. Um, an, 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 an amount of screaming. A, a large amount of screaming. Um, obviously not, not right. <laughs> in, in your ears, directly screaming. Uh, I haven't announced uh, today's script yet, so let me do that real quick. Um, I'm really sorry that I'm late. I, I, I took the time to like, I, 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 I was like doing things for like, for like two fucking hours. I'm like, okay, let's, let's make sure everything's good. Let's make sure everything's good. And there were still things that I forgot to do. Uh, of, of course. Uh, of course. Um, let me do the at ping real quick. But, hello, hello, Wade. Hello. Hello, Faygrave. Hello, hello, Sylvia. Hello, hello, Melio does. Melkor, thank you. That is extremely kind. Hello, hello, Kenji. Hello, hello, Vampire. Hello, Chicken Coop Enjoyer. Um, wait, no, that's not that. It needs to be ping multiple. Ping multiple. Um, it's been a bit. It's been a minute because it's been fucking hot. It's been hot. It's been, it's been, it's been steamy. It, wait, I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. It's been so long I forgot that because Melkor was kind enough to give us some scrimble. This is, this is Melkor's chew. Okay. This isn't for anybody else. Everybody. Please close your ears, okay? You're not allowed to see it, to hear this. It's lewd. It's, it's not. It's not lewd. It's not lewd. Any. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm psyching myself up. <laughs> Tastes like minerals. Tastes. Tastes like. Like. Uh, like a salt lick. Like a salt lick. That could be interesting. <laughs> Is it over? It's o You can open your ears now. Don't worry. Everybody can listen again. Everybody can open open up. Electrolytes! Yay! I'm healthy! <laughs> um... I, I've been like having a lot of those. Um, I think the brand is called Liquid IV. Um, wait one minute. I need to ping this Discord too. Um, okay. All right. All the chores are taken care of, except for. Um, the chore of, of finding of find the story. The story we're supposed to be reading. Hello, Dr. Hidaka. How I'm 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 okay. I'm okay. It's a little warm though. Um it, it, it do be warm but not not overly warm. Um the AC has been blasting, so there's the leftover um Coolness, doobie doobie, warm, how are you? We've got some AC to have now. You're not really warm, Scooby Dorm. Move into that dorm now. Um, it's that season uh, for college kids. They are all moving back into dorms and such. Um, what? Oh, no, no you don't. 
No, you don't. Oh, oh no, you. Oh no. Oh wait, don't, 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 don't toss it out. Don't toss it out. Don't toss it out. You don't see it. You don't. Yeah, that's a secret. Okay. That, that's. It's super secret. It's. It's super secret, and only if I feel like showing my face. Okay. You don't get to see my face. <laughs> Manuel. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for unlucky for some. Wait, what's unlucky? 13! 13. 13 isn't unlucky at all. 13's kind of cool, actually. I, I don't know. It's, it's, well, lots of like cool things are numbered 13 because, 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 ooh, unlucky. Ooh, so weird. But everybody close your ears because Manuel gets at you. Okay? This isn't for anybody else. So, one, two. Mm. Okay. And hello, rabid beefalo. I hope you're doing well tonight. I'm... What was I talking about? That, that it's warm. Let me put some sandwiches up. I have a special sandwich, actually that matches with this PNG um, because you can see the credits in the bottom right corner but it was illustrated by Kuro Salty who is definitely not a friend and nobody I know and, and they wouldn't be here right now except they're probably not around because because it's early in the morning in their time zone um, but, but yeah, it came, it, came with, it came with sandwich, and it came with this fat fuck. Meowleo does! Thank you for gifting us up to Rapid Beefalo. Alright, then is this your chew, or is this, um, Beefalo's chew? Maybe, maybe, it can be the old, and, and, alright. Okay, okay. It, 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 it's a little easier as time goes on. Just a little bit. But but this this fat fuck, this this content motherfucker, this 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 melty lad. Don't do damn damn I wish that were me. <laughs> Literally you. Literally you for real for real. Um, you better enjoy. And um, if you don't... Oh, sorry, I made some noise. But if you don't enjoy your sandwich, I might have to resort to something a little drastic. No, don't worry. It's normal. It's, it's normal. I'm giving you a haircut. I'm giving you a haircut. Okay? It's just... It's just a little... Hmm. These scissors are kind of worn out, but it adds, like, texture to the noise they make. You know? You don't like haircuts? Is that one of the sounds that makes you, um... You know, some people like certain sounds, and some people like other sounds. Like, uh, I personally, you had, oh, really? What kind of, so did you, like, just, hmm, I mean, obviously I don't want to ask any, like, super personal details. Um, was it, like, to get rid of, well, okay, so I prefer to have my hair, uh, longer in the winter, um, because... Um, because warm. It's warmer to have long hair in the winter. And then in, um, summer it's, you know, you want to have, uh, the short hair that lets the air, uh, the air needs to attack your, your neck. Mmm. One thing, hello. Hello. Mm. 
professor of cultured magazines. I hope the site you use to peruse gentlemen's special interest magazines has has a copyright takedown and then all the funny numbers. Holy crap! That's that's really why Melio does. Thank you. Wait, I gotta say. <laughs> well, it's like it's like coffee. <laughs> Did you? Did you? I know you just got back from work. Well, maybe not just got back. Anyway, I hope the website you use to to look at to look at funny images. I hope that that goes. Like, I hope it go down. I hope it. I hope it's no longer. And and if you share a hex code with somebody, that it breaks. That that the the color doesn't. God damn. Okay. 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 I need to do three cheats. Oh shit. We. Well, we're at six, you're right! Wait, oh, d that means the ear blowing! Okay, uh, I'm so sorry. I haven't been keeping track because I'm... Um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Also, hello, Cal! Yeah, thank you for get a, getting a bacon, egg, and cheese for Komainu Yuki and Calavera. And thank you, Kashi, for resubscribing. It's God damn! God damn already! Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. <laughs> I bet somebody would want that. Um, I mean, nobody would want to hear me count numbers. That's that's not a weird thing. It's a perfectly normal thing. It's a perfectly exceptionally normal thing. To count numbers. <sighs> anyway, um, so, so first, I will no, shut up, okay? You, you, you can't make me. First, I will inundate your ears. God, God, Cal, you're gonna make me fucking lose it. You're gonna make me. Thank you. Um. Also, I never asked about the audio in our. You know, I know there's music. I know there's like that nice wave sound. Uh, 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 uh. Crony Giga Worshipper, thank you for the follow- wait, no, you didn't follow. Hello, it's good to see you. I hope you're doing alright. <laughs> Fuck you, dude. <laughs> Fuck you, dude, come on. <laughs> A rather large rat. Hello, how are you doing today? Well, what the hell? Thank you. Thank you, Meowlio does. You've been extremely, extremely uh, kind to me. Yeah, Cal, I'll do it. I'll do it, okay? Wait, I gotta, I gotta blow in your ears first, okay? <sighs> oh, wait, and wait, how many kisses do I have to give? Fuck, that's a lot of kisses. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. A lot of kisses. A lot of kisses. You better be happy. You better be happy with all of that, okay? Because I'm gonna give you even more attention. And Prex. Oh, I gotta. Oh, I am going to make a note. I am making a note to give you um, the book. You think it's good? Good. I'm glad. Hello. I think I 
saw you come in earlier, but but I was very distracted. I'm so sorry. Wait, what the hell? Meowio does. Thank you. Quite. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. You're going to kill me. You should. You should. You should kill me more. Oh wait, now I have to do uh, seven out of ten. Eight out of ten. Okay, eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. I as long as you suffer with me, I'll be satisfied. Okay? I am going to suffer so much tonight. So you better suffer a lot as well. Alright? Die. Get bent. Kiss your sister. <laughs> Keep your smile. Um, what other nonsense? <laughs> um, hello, Macha Cha, and also thank you for the water, Zero. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm a fucking. I'm. <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! Alright. I just, I just, I, I just, I just like torturing you too much. I'll, I'll, I'll keep doing the ear petting. I'll keep doing the, the ear petting, though. Calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down. I need to calm down. I need to speak slowly. I need to calm down. And you need to calm down, too. Hello, Lord Neko. How are you doing today? Right, water, water. I've been taking um, new meds recently. I think they've been drying out my mouth. So I've been drinking a lot more water than I normally would. Or maybe I'm just nervous. For, for, wait, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need to piss with the, bruh, 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 my, my guy, my guy, we're never gonna get to the, to the heartbeat, we're, I'm going to ban you, do I have to ban you? Oi, 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 <sighs> thank you, thank you, Soviet, for, oh my god. How are you though? <laughs> no, 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 I, I'm not gonna ban you. No, I was talking about Ken. I mean, I was talking about you didn't do nothing, Yellow Dog, okay? You didn't do anything at all. You're being extremely kind and I'm very appreciative. It is simply somebody won't. Stop doing the fucking. <sighs> I'm gonna fucking lose it. I'm gonna fucking lose it. I'm gonna fucking lose it. Okay? I'm gonna make fucking lose it. But before that happens, get over here. Get the fuck over here. You goddamn piss, baby. You... Okay. Alright. 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 It's just a hug, okay? It's just a hug. Um... Where's my heart? Where the fuck is my heart? I mean, obviously I don't have one. 
I kind of have to move oh, my tit out of the way. Uh huh. I think someone took my heart. Can you hear it? Okay. I'll, um. Uh. Okay. Okay. Let me turn the desktop audio down by a lot. Okay. How is it now? Is it... Bra... <laughs> Hello, Ecto. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for... It's because I drink a lot of water, okay? It's just because I drink a lot of water. That's the only reason that it's making that noise, okay? I'm really sorry. It. It's low? Wait, what's low? Hello, citizen. Wait, is the... You mean the audio is too low? The desktop audio made the heartbeat lower. I know what I can do. Okay, I know what I can do. I know what I can do. I can turn up the gain a little bit. And maybe move the mic somewhere closer to my heart. Is this okay? Hello, Element. How are you doing? Two rats? No, it's a bit... I'm not nervous. I'm not nervous. I'm just gonna drink some water. You know what? Fuck you guys. I'm not gonna talk to you guys. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna drink some water. Because because fuck you. Okay. Esophagus, what the fuck? What the fuck? That's so weird. Oh my god. That's. Ugh. It's a little. That's a little weird. It's, 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 it's not that you just hear like the mouth. Whatever, you hear like the esophagus sounds. What the fuck? shit. Holy fucking god. I'm, I'm sorry, Butterzilla. I'm sorry. Oh, and no slouching. I don't want to move more. Alright, you know what? Fuck you. The other ear is gonna get it now. somebody with tons of points will wait no the good bud should be relatively cheap and there's like a trigger redeem that's like super cheap 
I'll look over it again. I'll, I'll look out your, your joke. Okay, okay, as long as it was kind of a joke. Okay, okay, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for all the weird... God fucking damn. I'm sorry for all the weird water sounds. But, but, but more... I'm almost like halfway done with my water bottle. My water bottle's huge. It's like, um, it's 1.4 liters, which is, uh, pretty, uh, that's a lot of water. It's a big amount of water. Can you have some water? Sure, sir, are you? Ah, uh, yeah, does. Thank you. <laughs> Wait, I can't really, can't really reach it to, to chew right now. <sighs> I will give a plethora of kisses. In a moment, fucking, fucking kiss slut. You're a kiss slut. You want, you want nothing but kisses. How, how lewd. It's impossible to do. Yeah, it, it, it adds quite a lot of scuff. Hell yeah, Emmy. Uh, Emmy out here with the fucking cultured. Re the only good redeems are the one. <laughs> Emmy does. That's not true. That, that's not true. There's other good ones, but but I appreciate you. How much water in freedom units? Uh, 48 ounces. It is a water bottle with 48 ounces of water. All right, let's let's drown. Let's fucking drown. Let's let's fucking drown, baby. Wait, come on. That sure was weird. <sighs> there will be another... Ugh, sorry. normal. That was very normal. That was an incredibly normal time. It's, it's super normal. <sighs> Take as much time as you need. I think I need a minute myself, to be honest. But I am... I am indeed going to... I'm, I'm, I'm gonna need to piss relatively soon. <laughs> um. Uh, hello, Jimmy Map. Are you late? Um, Lettuce King. I, I, I don't, I don't know. I, I, I feel like. I feel like the weirdest stuff happens on these streams. I feel like... <laughs> like, like, like I ate paper during ASMR. I, I, I did hee dur during ASMR. I... What other weird things have happened? I don't know. <sighs> I don't know, but I feel like most of my wacky, my, my downright silly, it's, it, it's, it's downright silly when, when this stuff happens, and I love you little weirdos. Yeah, but you're, <sighs> you're a little kooky. 
and, and stupid, but, but, but it makes me, it makes me really happy. <laughs> it's, it, it's silly. It's a, it's a silly, it's some silly shit. Hello, Jonathan. Yeah, a little wacky. Um, but there are some chews that I have to give. I also think that I, I still have to do ear blowing, and I also still have to do fucking... I think... Yeah, there were two more. There were two more subs. Paracilly. <laughs> Paracilly. Okay. Okay. I typically don't like those, um... I've never played them myself. But I've watched a lot of people playing those, um, Chilla's horror games, and just recently, um, one came out that's, um, called, uh, Parasocial, and it's literally about a VTuber, and it's like, okay, uh, okay, if I'm gonna play one of them, it, it's gotta be that one, and, like, literally everybody's playing it so it's worth it. Mm. Even if it's the same as the other. It's literally me. It's, it's literally me. For real. For real. I've been avoiding watching it so that, you know, I, I can play it myself blind, but I imagine it's gonna- what the fuck is that emote? I'm, 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 I'm sorry. I, I... <laughs> um, okay. Um... Um... <sighs> there are some shoes that I owe you. So I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna do the <laughs> fucking saved. Yeah, the, 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 the toe sucking saved me somehow. I saw that and I was like stun locked. I I was put in I was put in a stun lock. So oh wait, I completely forgot about doing this voice. Goddamn. I'm so sorry to double ooh ooh. I swear I'm not um being I'm not forgetting on purpose. I hate you so much. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna die. You're gonna kill me. Alright. I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill you, and I'm gonna kill you, and I'm gonna kill you, and I'm gonna kill you, and... You're good today. Huh? Huh? Five low? Five below. What am I low on? I'm low... I'm low on sanity right now. I'm, I'm in a mental asylum. I'm, I'm, I'm going... I'm going fucking sicko. I'm, I'm going insane, I'm, I'm going, um, downright stupid, and, right, okay, okay, the Taco Bell ad, I need to do a Taco Bell ad, um, about the new Crunchwrap. I'm in my bonked up seat right now. I'm still dying. I'm still dying from concussy. <laughs> oh, mm -mm. I have the meme uh, still up here on my VTube studio. <laughs> getting, getting slunked, silly style. <laughs> Yo. Crony Giga Worshipper, thank you for the follow. You are my favorite customer. Hell yeah. Um, 
Let's see. Where... where is it? Where... Also, is the audio still okay? Hopefully the audio is still, you know, balanced appropriately. be like too much of a hmm that's probably good enough but like <sighs> okay then now I know that's the sound I can't make time I was like oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna stretch out a little let's see how I can crunch my fingers crunchy ah uh, feel good oh oh that was my wrist 
just to make sure what not to do now. I know what not to do now. I know exactly which sound not to do. Yeah, I'm trying to crunch the other wrist, but it's not quite doing it. if you sit uh, for too long or you don't rest good. Oh, I need to like uh, stretch like this. Uh, okay. Okay. Did you have Taco Bell today? It seems to be on your mind a lot. I think you got... I think... that you have consumed a crunch wrap crispadilla and the special new Taco Bell Crispadilla for a limited time at a, a Taco Bell near you. Did you ever want to eat glass? Do you want to feel the shards inside your mouth cutting it up? Our new Crispadilla is so crispy that the little pieces are not fit for human consumption. 2004 Subaru Forester. Um, I feel like that's someone's like first car or, or like that's somebody's like, I feel like that's the car a teenager has right now. Like, like it was a soup, like a, their grandpa's car and then grandpa sold it to a teenager. <laughs> Something hidden harder than Cat and Crunch. Exactly. All the little pieces in your mouth. It's going to, 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 to create extremely tiny lacerations. And, and, and well, you don't actually want that. You, you got a Honda, but you're thinking of a Ford? The Taco Bell fiberglass deal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That kind of deal. Wah! Elio does. What, what, why, why so kind? Why, why... Blah, 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 blah. Alright. Yeah, for free. Hello, nobody. Who... Me, me looking for who asked. It was nobody. How are you doing today? Alright, that is another, another, I'm sorry for all the mouse clicking sounds. Oh, it's getting, it's, it's getting, it's getting warm. It's getting warm. <laughs> is that your car? Your car is the do Um, I usually, <laughs> yo, know, Civics are great cars. C Civics will last you a long, long while. They are, they are good. It's a good deal, you know? Does yours have like, oh, but if it's from 2012, does it not have like the backing up camera? I, I'm so glad that was invented. Um, so, oh wait, I gotta do, I gotta do, mm -hmm. chew. And then chew over. 
and also I'm gonna take off my headphones real quick because I want to it's too hot okay alright that's a little better it's hard and the engine is weak but it's reliable as long as it gets you from point A to point B and you don't need to like you know bring it into the shop like once every month There was... Mm, what was my grandfather's car? I think it was a Mazda. Like, it was... A 2001... Mazda that he drove for, like, all the last... What the fuck, Nemo? Hello, Nemo! How are you doing today? I am being extremely funny and unfortunately for you, you get a funny chew, okay? Mm. <laughs> Toyota Crown. <laughs> Thank you, Mario Daz. What the hell? It, it, it's, as long as you're taking care of yourself, I will I will be happy. As long as you're taking care of yourself. And that means, oh wait, I gotta do more ear blowing and there was another uh, heartbeat that needed to happen because the first one was a redeemed one. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. And also, you're not taking your hat work. No! You working. You work at nights, I suppose. Or are. I'm not trying to gurgle. It's it's just I can't help it. I I can't help it if if my body decides to gurgle zero. Mm. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. There's like a there's a loading sign. There's like the the circles. The the loading circles spinning around and around and around. Yeah, joke loading. They might not be able to burp, but I'm built different. Oh! Oh, if you're here, that means you're probably home for your trip, right? I think you've been home for a little bit, but, but, back, back from Australia, perhaps. Two-pronged fork, hello, how are you doing? Yay, are you, have you adjusted to the time zone, or are you still on Australia time? I'm not tired. I'm, I'm totally not tired. The joke is taking too long to load. The joke, the joke, the joke zero is your fucking life. Ha <laughs> ha, got him. I bet your life is so much of a joke that when you came out of your mother, she started laughing hysterically. You know, there's a little baby zero just out here going wee, 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 and then. She's there going like <laughs> And and I'm sure you grew up to be a fine, upstanding gentleman. That makes your parents proud. That one was really mean. That one was like especially mean. <laughs> Take this. What weird emote are you gonna hit me with now? Oh, wait, that's not a weird emote. That's just, that's just a, that's just a middle finger that says fuck you. 
You're doing better than me to your prom? Hell yeah. Good. Good. <sighs> I've been encouraged many, of ta many a time to become even more savage. Um... Uh, I, it's just like occasionally somebody will be like, "Oh, oh, my feeling hurt in DM," and and then I go, "Sorry." Even more sausage. Okay, but when I turn into like a kielbasa, or when I turn into a bong, or when I turn into um, a glizzy. Or would I turn into... Yeah, silly sausage. Silly little sausage. Um... What other sort of sausages are there? A bratwurst? Um... I think Italian sausages are my favorite. Simply because, like, the spice mix of Italian sausages is like, it's, it's a good mix. It's a good mix. And yeah, very good, the very spicy. Love love me a spicy sausage. But the um I don't get to have it that much. But the Polish kind of sausage. I think it's kielbasa. I could be wrong. A um like I don't know what makes it different. I guess it... Yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't get to have it super often, but when I do, it's like, oh, it's a treat. It's a treat. We have the good sausage. <gasps> chorizo! How could I forget chorizo? Okay, so Mexican chorizo, it's good, but it's like really cheap, you know? It's, um... But... Spanish chorizo, like, oh, that's the good stuff. That's, that's like fancy. That's the kind of thing that you eat on its own. Um, like, well, part of a tapas sort of thing. But like, you don't put it in a food. You put it on a plate with some cheese and some crackers on a shark kuchi and oh, delicious. Absolutely delicious. Um, though I have had, like, chorizo paellas, but that feels... It's like, how could you put such an expensive ingredient in a paella? But then, like, I go to most Spanish restaurants, and it's it, they're fancy. All of the Spanish places in my area are, like, more expensive than they should be. Thank you for lurking, Scramble. I hope you're having a good day. The evening. Uh, uh, uh. It is the evening. And damn, it's already been an hour. It's already been an hour, and I owe, I owe you a heartbeat. I owe you some, some... Sorry. Okay. 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 You've been making taco meat with? Okay, there's like, there's multiple types of chorizo. There's, um, um, Mexican style chorizo, which is significantly like, I don't, it's not bad. It's, it, it's very good, but it's like different quality of meat, maybe. Whereas, um, the Spanish style Asian style chorizo? Asian style. So, actually, um, I bought... I don't know about Asian specifically, but there's a Korean, uh, like, it's a fish sausage I got, um, called a bong. And, and <laughs> it's, it's just funny because sometimes I just, like, snack on it because it's, it, 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 it it's food, and, and it's a silly name. I just open up a bong, and, and I eat it, and I'm like, yep, that sure was a bong. Alright, 
Alright, alright, get in there. Get in there, get in there. Sausage to snack on. You, you unwrap the bong and and you eat the bong. And the bong I got is the cheese bong. And the cheese is like that super duper processed cheese. And it, it tastes fine. It it is fine TM. It does sound clogged since the thing is pressed right again right up against my chest. I wonder if there's a way for it to still pick up my heartbeat but not sound clogged. I was just kind of scrubbing through one of my VODs a while back and I was like, what the fuck is with the audio issues? And then I realized, like, oh, it's because I did the... Uh... Is it still clocked? Or at least... It's less so. <gasps> Bizarre, hello. I hope you're doing well tonight. I'm sorry, dude. Tried moving the mic a little, but I can bother your other ear with the clogged feeling, okay? And I can also chew it better. Where's my heart? Disappeared. It disappeared, it disappeared, it disappeared. My heart disappeared. You stole it. You stole it when I when I gave you when I gave you that chew, you stole my heart. How could you do that? How could you be so cruel? To take my heart away from me? I need it to survive. I need it to pump all the blood into my little rat body. Is worth only fifty dollars. I can't believe it's worth so little. Yeah, my tiny heart. My tiny rat sized heart. It can't hold a lot of love or affection. I'm not tired. I have 
some tea as well. Oh, the tea is nice. It's a good temperature, right? Oh! Keyboard sounds. Keyboard sounds. I am extremely not sleepy. And I can still spend a lot more time making you suffer. There's plenty. There's plenty of time before I sleep to tease you. <sighs> I think you are suffering. And I think you're telling me you're not to get me to tease you more. I think... I think you are setting me up. I think this is a prank you're pulling on me. And I'm not gonna fall for it anymore. Alright. No more heart. You don't get... You don't get to be hugged anymore. You have lost your, ah, thank you for the water. You have lost your hugging privileges. And hello, Lexbus. I hope you're doing well tonight. A distraction? Yeah, it was a distraction. The, the water was a distraction. It's not super late, actually. I normally wouldn't be in bed for this... At this time of night, I would normally still be doing something. I've been wasting a lot of my time lately with Hollow Cure, And I wish I wasn't, but also, but also fun. It's, it's fun. It's a fun game. And it makes me want to pick up Vampire Survivors again. Uh, because, yeah. Ellie, a good game. Oh, it's a good game in your, um, go to bed, but it's noon. Okay. Inf I have gained the information. You are doxxed. Time zone doxxed. Ha ha ha. Uh, uh, fifthification. Thank you for the follow. You are my favorite customer. Um, it works great, and that's surprising. Is your PC, like, super duper old or something? Don't take your game advice serious. Yeah, I can't take your game advice seriously. You, uh, you play League occasionally. I, um, jumped into a VC with some friends recently, um, and, like, the first thing I hear is, hi, Bodega, we're playing League, and I go, oh, okay, bye. <laughs> I just leave. <laughs> it's from 2014! That's almost 10 years old! I mean, I mean, I'm like fine to hang out with my friends while they're while they're gaming, um, but also then if like I'm the only person not gaming, then like 
it'll just be it'll just be me kind of just like sitting there awkwardly and and they'll be like telling each other like what to do in the game <laughs> it kicks you for playing it too long yeah well the games can last a really long time right it can like queuing up and then actually playing the, the game itself takes maybe like 40 minutes sometimes I guess I guess don't do more than an hour or something okay all right all right I've been made to suffer so I'm going to I'm going to turn up the audio I mean the desktop audio for a minute and I'm good oh wait that's the wrong image that's the wrong image that's the wrong image that's the wrong image it's piss girl time it is it is it is the pi the hour of piss girl. I'd say I didn't want to pee so soon, but but you made me you made me do it. You, you made me do it, and and here's the consequences of your actions. Just hopefully it should be. <laughs> no, I'm I'm muting the mic. I'm muting the mic. Goodbye.
for real? Huh? Oh, wait, man, that's the wrong thing. There, there, there's other streamers. You, 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 you can, you can watch other streamers. Let us. I, uh huh, uh huh. I, I, um, um, five, five real. No, oh, god damn it! You fucking I can't believe you're gearing out here, making me drink more water after I just pissed. After, after I just pissed. I'm so insulted. Fucking insulted, damn. <sighs> also, hello, Athre. And I did wash my hands, Butterzilla. Thank you. Thank you for letting me know. Um. Uh, no, I'm not tired. I'm not tired. I'm not tired. We've got raiding to do. I came here. I came here with a purpose. I came here with a mission. And I'm going to see it through, damn it. So, where did I put this? Okay. Um, treasure island. Read. Give me. Yes, here we go. I've got. I think I was on chapter 13. No, we had read chapter 13. What's next? Um. Yeah. Okay. We. Uh, we are on to chapter 14 now. And so, what happened in the story was that child, ch child protagonist, um, had found a, um, had found a place to, um, I'm sorry, um, they found a map. It's been, it's been a minute, I have completely forgotten. They found a map on an island to get treasure, and they got a ship, and the ship was has all these these um, fine upstanding gentlemen on it, and the fine upstanding gentlemen are not so keen on the captain that they have hired, and so they are planning on taking the treasure and having themselves a mutiny. And so, our protagonist decided, hey, I'm going to tell the captain and also Dr. Livesey about all of this. And let's, let's maybe, maybe try to work something out, you know, not, no mutiny, please. They would very appreciate for there to be no mutiny and a good a nice and good voyage home. They arrived on the island and the protagonist is now here. On the island they they escaped being with an adult and they're on their own and we are on chapter 13. Uh, no, 14. Chapter 14, the first blow. That, that first hit a blow hit different. I wouldn't know though. <laughs> Did I ever finish Train Detective? No, I want to. I want to. It is on the, um, uh, it's not on the schedule, um, but it is like high up on the list of games that I want to play soon. <gasps> I'm not tired, not tired. When the, there there's many seamen, and this is the seamen are exiting the ship in in a very hasty manner, 
and um, it's their first blow on shore. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of um, talk of men of the sea today. <laughs> all right. All right, all right, all right. So, I was so pleased at having given the slip to Long John that I began to enjoy myself and and look around me with some interest on the strange land that I was in. I had crossed a marshy tract full of willows, bulrushes, and odd outlandish swampy trees. I had now come out upon the skirts of an open piece of undulating sandy country about a mile long dotted with a few pines and a great number um, of contorted trees, not unlike the oak in growth, but pale in the foliage like willows. On the far side of the open stood one of the hills with two quaint craggy peaks shining vividly in the sun. I now felt the first time the joy of exploration. The isle was uninhabited, my shipmates I had left behind, and nothing lived in front of me but dumb brutes and fowls. I turned hither, hither, and thither among the trees. Hither, thither, hither, thither. Hither, thither, hither, thither, hither, thither, hither, thither. Um, here and there, were flowering plants. Unknown to me, here and there, I saw snakes, and one raised its head from a ledge of rock and hissed at me with a noise not unlike the spinning of a top. Little did I suppose that he was a deadly enemy, and that noise was the famous rattle. Then I came to a long thicket of oak-like trees, live or evergreen oaks, I heard afterward, they should be called, which grew low along the sand like brambles, and bows curiously twisted, the foliage compact like a thatch, and the thicket stretched down from the top of the sandy knolls, spreading and growing taller as it went until it reached the margin of the broad, reedy fen, though which the nearest of the little rivers soaked its way into the anchorage. The marsh was streaming in the strong sun, and the outline of the spyglass trembled through the haze. All at once, there began to go a sort of bustle among the bulrushes. A wild duck flew up with a quack. Another followed, and soon, over the whole surface of the marsh, a great cloud of birds hung screaming and circling in the air. I judged at once that some of my shipmates must be drawing near along the borders of the fen. Nor was I deceived, for soon I heard the very distant and low tones of a human voice which I continued to give ear, grew steadily, louder, and nearer. This put me in great fear. I crawled under the cover of the nearest live oak, and squatted there, hearkening as silent as a mouse. Another voice answered, and the first voice, which I now recognized to be Silver's, once more took up the story and ran on for a long while in a stream only now and again interrupted by the other. By the sound they must have been talking earnestly, almost fiercely, but no distinct word came to my hearing. At last, the speakers seemed to have paused, and perhaps to have sat down, for not only did they cease to draw any nearer, 
but the birds themselves began to grow more quiet and to settle again to their places in the swamp. And now I began to feel that I was neglecting my business, that since I had been so foolhardy as to come ashore with these desperados, the least I could do was to overhear them as their counsels, and that my plain and obvious duty was to draw as close as I could manage under the favorable ambush of the crouching trees. I could tell the direction of the speakers pretty exactly, not only by the sound of their voices, but by the behavior of the few birds that still hung in alarm above the heads of the intruders. Crawling on all the floors, I made steadily but slowly towards them, till at last raising my head to an aperture among the leaves, I could see clear down into a little green dell beside the marsh, and closely set about with trees where Long John Silver and another of the crew stood face to face in conversation. Huh? Huh? Uh huh? I mean, that would be quite an awful prank. It would be an evil prank. Ooh, ooh, how, how, um, wait, let me. <sighs> this art is indeed extremely cute. Um, and Kuro Salty is the one who did it next time. Um, yo, wait, wait, for real, for- Kuro, hello, how are you doing today? <sighs> but yeah, it would be an awful prank, and, and I accept suggestions, but also take care of yourself first, okay? If you don't take care of yourself, I'm going to concern. And I'd really ra- I don't have a lot of brain power. There's one single brain cell rattling around in my head. You just woke up? Good morning. Good morning, girl. It's already working overtime, you know? There's so much so much happening in that brain. It's... I don't want to spend my brain power worrying, concerning. If you just, just, just take care of yourself, okay? Or I'm gonna concern, and I don't want to have to do that. Um, but yeah, hello, Ed. I hope you're doing, um, of course. I, not, that's, that's what, an, like, like your people. Your, 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 uh, you, mm, like, like sympathy for for your human for human beings. The, I I might be a rat, but but you gotta have like uh, everybody. Just 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 be nice to people. Be nice and empathetic and and considerate and and I don't know. I don't know. I I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know what the words I'm saying is. But even. If you don't think you are, even if you believe it from the absolute bottom of your heart, that you're, you deserve love and respect and consideration from those around you. You deserve all the good stuff in the world and to have a comfy, 
and simple life. I'm sorry uh, about all of the uh, keyboard noises. My bad. My bad. I am now going to drink some water and then we'll go back to. We will go back to story time. lady would do a lot of keyboard noises, but I don't have a fancy keyboard. My keyboard is the one that came with my PC. directions of the speakers pretty exactly, not only by the sound of their voices, but by the behavior of the few birds that still hung in alarm above the heads of the intruders, crawling on all fours, I made steadily but slowly towards them, till at last raising my head to an aperture among the leaves. I could see clear down into a little green dell beside the marsh, and closely set with trees where Long John Silver and another of the crew stood face to face in conversation. Hello, it's hallowed. The sun beat full upon them. Silver had thrown his hat beside him on the ground, and his great smooth blonde face, all shining with heat, was lifted to the other man's in a kind of appeal. He's sweaty. He's sweaty. Just like... Just like everybody suffering in the northern hemisphere. Mate, he was saying, it's because I think gold dust of you, gold dust, and you may lay to that. If I hadn't told you like pitch, do you think I'd have been here a warning you? All's up. You can't make nor mend. It's to save your neck that I'm a speaking, and if one of the wild uns knew it, where I'd be, Tom now, tell me where I'd be. Silver, said the other man, and I observed he was not only red in the face, but spoke as a horse as a crow. His voice shook too, like a taut rope. Silver, says he, you're old and you're honest or has the name for it, and you've money too, which lots of poor sailors hasn't, and you're brave, or I'm mistook, and you will tell me you'll let yourself be led away with that kind of mess of swabs. Not you, as sure as God sees me, I'd sooner lose my hand if I turn again my duty. And then, all of a sudden, he was interrupted by a noise. I had found one of the honest hands. Well, here, at the same moment, 
came news of another. Far away, out into the marsh, there arose all of a sudden a sound like the cry of anger. And then another on the back of it, and then one horrid, long-drawn scream. The rocks of the spyglass re-echoed it a score of times. The whole troop of marsh birds rose again, darkening heaven with a simultaneous whirr, and long after that death yell was still ringing in my brain, silence had re-established its empire. The only rustle of the receding birds and the boom of the distant surges disturbed the languor of the afternoon. Tom had leapt at the sound like a horse at a spurn, but Silver had not winked an eye. He stood where he was, resting lightly on his crutch, watching his companion like a snake about to spring. John, said the sailor, stretching out his hand. Hands off, cried Silver, leaping back a yard. As it seemed to me, with the speed and security of a trained gymnast, Hands off, if you like John Silver, said the other. It's a black conscience that can make you feared of me. But in heaven's name, tell me what was that? That, returned Silver, smiling away. But warier than ever, his eye a mere pinpoint in his big face, but gleaming like a crumb of glass. That... Oh, I reckon that'll be Alan. At this point, Tom flashed out like a hero. Alan, he cried, then rest his soul for a true seaman. And as for you, John Silver, long you've been a mate of mine, but you're a mate of mine no more. If I die like a dog, I'll die in my duty. You've killed Alan, have you? Kill me too, if you can, but I defies you. It is a fast food place. Um, it's like sea fried seafood, I think. Or am I thinking of something else? I might be thinking of something else. I think... I think it's seafood, but I'm not entirely sure. Anyway. And with that, this brave... Yeah, it is a sea... Okay, okay. It's like the same company as Nathan's, I think. You don't trust the... Uh, nope, 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 nope. I don't, I don't trust any Long John Silver. And I don't trust this guy here either. He, he, he's murder. He's gonna be murdering. Um... And with that, this brave fellow turned his back directly on the cook and set off walking for the beach. But he was not destined to go far. With a cry, John seized a branch of a tree, whipped the crutch out of his armpit, and sent that uncouth missile hurtling towards the air. It struck poor Tom point foremost and with stunning violence right between the shoulders and the middle of his back, his hands flew up, he gave a sort of gasp, and then fell. You're drunk now? Make sure you're drinking lots of water, okay? Enjoy being drunk, enjoy being tipsy, have bread, have water, and have a good time. Combined with A and W, oh, I've never, um, no, that's a lie. I have been to A and W, but it's been a while. Um, they're mostly upstate. Water, yeah, water. <sighs> I'm gonna have a nightmare due to how much water I've drank today. And and yeah, he he took a stick and and and, and cracked. He, he, he did a shot. He, he hit him. I think they're mostly like a Midwest thing. 
piss girl nightmares. Alright. Whether he were injured much or little, none could ever tell. Like enough to judge from the sound, his back was broken on the spot, but he had no time given him to recover. Silver, agile as a monkey, even without the le leg or crutch. <sighs> oh my god, for real. <laughs> um, Silver, agile as a monkey, even without leg or crutch, was on top of him next moment and had twice buried his knife up to the hilt in that defenseless body. Okay, so he took the stick and went wham. And then after after stick, he, 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 he guess what he had in his hand? It was a knife. Um, I could hear him pant aloud from my plate. Buried his knife up to the hilt in that defenseless body. From my place of ambush, I could hear him pant aloud as he struck the blows. I do not know what it rightly is to faint, but I do know not for the next little. Huh, I'm not yawning. silver and the birds and the tall spyglass hilltop going round and round and topsy-turvy before my eyes and all manner of bells ringing and distant voices shouting in my ear when I came again to myself the monster had pulled himself together his crutch under his arm his hat upon his head just before him Tom lay motionless upon the sward, but the murderer minded him not a whit. Cleansing his blood-stained knife the while upon a wisp of grass, everything else was unchanged, the sun still shining mercilessly on the steaming marsh and the tall pinnacle of mountains. Uh, and I could scarce persuade myself that murder had been actually done and a human life cruelly cut short a moment since before my eyes. But now, John put his hand into his pocket and brought out a whistle and blew upon it several modulated blasts that range far across the heated air. I could not tell, of course, the meaning of the signal, but it instantly awoke my fears. More men would be coming. I might be discovered. I had already slain two of the honest people after Tom and Alan. Might not I come next? Instantly, I began to extricate myself and crawl back again with what speed and silence I could manage the more open portion of the wood as I did so. I could hear hails coming and going between the old buccaneer and his comrades, and this sound of danger lent me wings. As soon as I was clear of the thicket, I ran as I never had before, scarce minding the direction of my flight so long as it led me from the murderers. And I ran, fear grew and grew upon me, until it turned into a kind of frenzy. Um, indeed, could anyone be more entirely lost than I? When the gun fired, how should I dare go down to the boats among the, those fiends, still smoking from their crime? Would not the first of them who saw me wring my neck like a snipe's? Would not absence itself be evidence to them of my alarm? 
and therefore my fatal knowledge. It was all over, I thought. Goodbye to the Hispaniola. Goodbye to the squire, the doctor, the captain. There was nothing left for me but death by starvation or death by the hands of mutineers. All this while, as I say, I was still running, without taking any notice. I had drawn near to foot of the little hill with two peaks and had got into a part of the island where the live oaks grew more widely apart and seemed more like a forest of trees in their bearing and dimensions. Mingled with these were far few scattered pines some fifty, some near seventy feet high. The air, too, smelt more fresh than down beside the marsh. And here, a fresh alarm brought me to a standstill with a thumping heart. And that was chapter fourteen. Chapter fifteen. Oh yeah, I got it. Mo it moved a little. Fat fuck. That fat fuck so content. So snoozy and happy. <gasps> oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. I can see. I can see something going crazy. I can see the other model going. Okay, I think it's out of frame now. Chapter 15 The Man of the Island <laughs> Oh, piney And some coconut too And there's a lot of salt in the air Like, like a nice sea breeze Whoa, 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 Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, so, from the side of the hill, which was here steep and stony, a spr- oh, wait, I'm sorry, I keep- a- a sprout of gravel was dislodged and fell rattling and bounding through the trees. My eyes turned. Huh. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, sorry. Hello, Coyotes fan. How are you doing today? Uh, my eyes turned instinctively in that direction, and I saw a figure leap with great rapidity behind the trunk of a pine. What it was whether bear or man or monkey, I could in no wise tell. It seemed dark and shaggy, for I knew not, but the terror of this new apparition brought me to stand. I was now, it seemed, cut off upon both sides. Behind me, the murderers before me, this lurking, nondescript. That's good. Get comfy then. Mm, nondescript, nondescript. And immediately I began to prefer the dangers that I knew to those I knew not. Silver himself appeared less terrible in contrast with this creature of the woods, and I turned on my heel looking sharply behind me over my shoulder, began to retrace my steps in the direction of the boats. Instantly, the figure reappeared, making a wide circuit, began to head me off. I was tired, at any rate, but had I been fresh as when I rose, I could see it was in vain for me to contend in speed with such an adversary. From trunk to trunk, the creature flitted like a deer, running man-like on two legs, but unlike any man that I had ever seen. 
stooping almost double as it ran. Yet a man it was. I could no longer doubt about that. I began to recall I had heard of cannibals. I was within an ace of calling for help, but the mere fact that he was a man, however wild, had somewhat reassured me, and my fear of silver began to revive in proportion. I stood still, therefore, and cast about for some method of escape, and as I was so thinking, the recollection of my pistol flashed into my mind. As soon as I remembered, I was not defenseless. Courage glowed again in my heart, and I set my face resolutely for this man of the island, and walked briskly towards him. He was concealed by this time behind another tree trunk, but he must have been watching me closely, for as soon as I began to move in his direction, he reappeared and took a step to meet me. Then he hesitated and um, he cons began watching me closely, for as soon as I began to move in his direction, he reappeared and took a step to meet me. Then he hesitated, drew back, came forward again, and at last, to my wonder and confusion, threw himself on his knees and held out his clasped hand in supplication. And that, and that I once more stopped. Who are you? Ben Gum, he answered and his voice sounded hoarse and awkward, like a rusty lock. I'm poor Ben Gunn, I am. I haven't spoken with a Christian these three years. I could now see that he was a white man like myself, and that his features were even pleasing. Mmm, mmm, doubt. His skin, wherever it was exposed, was burnt by the sun. Even his lips are black, and his fair eyes. <laughs> it's like, it's like, yeah, this, this wild guy, this wild guy has been living out in the woods for three years in a very uncivilized manner. But yeah, he looks fine. He look. He, he, it's like, my, my brother in Christ, you were just talking about how you couldn't tell if it was a man or not. You couldn't tell if it was like a, a, a dog or a man and you referred to it as a creature and that it's shaggy. His eyes looked quite startling. <laughs> Unhinged, frosted man, reeking of piss. His features were almost pleasing. <laughs> almost. Y you know, if you look at it in a very specific angle. Um. Fair eyes looked quite startling in so dark a face. Of all the beggar men that I had seen or fancied, he was chief for, for raggedness. He was clothed with tatters of old ship's canvas and old sea cloth, and this extraordinary patchwork was all held together by a system of the most various and incongruous, incongruous fastenings, brass buttons, bits of stick and loops on Terry, Terry Gaskin. In his waist he wore an old brass buckled leather belt, which was the one thing- oh shit, 
I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make that much noise. I was reaching for something. Um, about his waist wore an old brass buckled leather belt, which was the one thing solid of his whole accoutrement. Three years, I cried. Were you shipwrecked? Nay, mate, he said, marooned. They left him to die. They left him to die. Alright. I have two brushes that I'm about to torture you with. One is a big, puffy makeup brush to put some something like blush on. You know, put a little red on your cheeks. It, making your cheeks a little red. And I have a small flat square brush meant for painting. They left him to die because he was a five out of ten. He, the ship that he was on could only be a ship of pretty people. Only attractive people allowed on the ship. So, I'm so very sorry. But they are almost pleasing. So he's left. I imagine after being stranded for three years, well, one age, you know, normal aging would get to you. someone out for looks. <laughs> Pretty people are usually meaner anyway. They don't know what it's like. There's, um, something people talked about. It's like attractive privilege. If you look good, if you live up to society's expectations of what, you know, an attractive person is, um, people will actually treat you better, which is stupid. It's incredibly stupid, but it's just how we are conditioned, I suppose. Um, like, you know, all those kids' movies, like Disney and stuff, all the heroes are extremely conventionally attractive, and then the villains are coded to look a certain way, usually older, and then some other, some other unfortunate implications. Dude was on a regular episode. <laughs> Apparently, Rasputin got around. Like, like he... <sighs> I like, I like 
pretty people. I like, I like pretty. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry my type is, is like... <sighs> it's fictional. Fictional, fictional is different. Fictional is fictional. But Rasputin... Um, by contemporary accounts, looked extremely striking, and in in his religious activities, um, committed a lot of conventional sinning. Um, no. No, oh, that's that's awful. Also, that website is not a website. That's a scary website. Is there a beeping sound? There is. Oh, I really hope you guys can't hear that. I hope you can hear. Whatever the hell is going... What's a green bubble? I don't know what a green bubble is. I've, I've never used those apps. Hello, Element. It's a bomb. Hey, what's that mysterious ticking sound? The pipe a bomb. <laughs> Hello, Phantom Mariachi. Alright. I don't know what the hell's going on outside. Some sort of truck is backing up. But as long as it's an extremely faint sound. <sighs> oh, sorry, sorry. So if you use, wait, if you use Tinder, there's like a green bubble by your name if you use Apple, like an iPhone, it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't actually matter. It doesn't actually matter. And what does matter is get teased, get teased, get teased. iMessage and you send it to someone else using iMessage, it's blue. Who the fuck would discriminate over the kind of phone you use? That's psychopathic behavior. It's fucking stupid. Apple is a cult. Disney is a cult. What else is a cult? Hmm. Cult of worshipping a brand. Hmm. I would argue. I'd argue Hollow Life is a cult. Just a little bit. Maybe it, it's just some fan. It's always like the one guy. There's always just that one guy. Don't, don't worship a company. A company will never have your best interest at heart. Yeah. Brand loyalty is stupid. Even national loyalty can get you thinking in ways. And while I would appreciate a cult formed in my honor, you wouldn't be able to handle all the forbidden messages. You 
would receive directly to your brain knowledge received by joining that cult you wouldn't be able to handle it you'd go crazy and you're not useful to me if you're too crazy Written messages like, um, oh, you got me, you got me, you got me. Oh, I didn't have one up my sleeve. Like, ooga booga, ikum bokum, um, beep 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 beep, just a little crazy, yeah. That was crazy. You caught me, you caught me being crazy. Mm, what's a good bully? What's a good bully? What's a good bully? You whoosh, whoosh. I cast a spell on you. You now. We'll sleep through your alarm. Ha ha! I, ca I cast the spell of you're so cozy and sleeping so very comfortably that you forget to set your alarm and then you sleep through it and you're, you know, not very late for work but just a little late. Just a little very late for all your responsibilities tomorrow morning so you better get cozy and don't forget to set any alarms that you have to there's a quote from the Yankees don't give a fuck of it yeah yeah uh, like sports teams is another good one they they do not have the capacity to care about you. So, so put your affection elsewhere. Well, like to me. Um, but for real, like, um, Disney doesn't care about you. Apple doesn't care about you. Um, those are like the two biggest ones. Um, that have like big, big, it's like, like Disney adult Nintendo. Yeah. Yeah. People who think that Nintendo can do no wrong. It, it isn't like on the same level. I think I'm just thinking of like, like what normies do. What do the normies do? You were cozy once. <laughs> cozy. I was cozy once. They put me on a bed. A mattress bed. A mattress bed with blankies. And blankies make me cozy. <laughs> I'm sorry, next time. Shadow the Hedgehog doesn't care about you. And you want to be killed by Shadow, you know? You want him to take his big gun and to shoot you on sight, but he kind of doesn't give a shit. And, and, and he's gonna look at you, he's gonna go, <laughs> and then and then walk away. Cause, cause that's how, how Shadow do. <laughs> I need to replay those games. Alright, so we met this wild man. We met... We met a Christian man. God, that fuck... Mm. It's, it's old. It's old literature. It's, it's extremely old. It was... It was the style at the time. Yeah, the almost pleasing man. I can't believe that beeping hasn't gone away yet. 
All right. Nay, mate, he said, marooned. I have heard the word, and I knew it stood for a horrible kind of punishment, common enough among the buccaneers, in which the offender is put ashore with a little powder and shot and left behind on some desolate and distant island. You take it over the Frank Herbert's character descriptions. Are they extremely, extremely long? Um, marooned three years ago, he continues, and lived on goats since then, and berries and oysters, wherever a man is, says I, a man can do for himself. But mate, my heart is sore for Christian diet. You mightn't happen to have a piece of cheese about you now, no? Well, many the long night I've dreamed of cheese, toasted mostly. And woke up again, and here I were. I have dreamed of cheese. I have dreamed of cheese many times. It's a good dream. I like, I like to hear about cheese. Jesus. Jesus crust. <laughs> um. If. Um. Hello, Kernos. Hello. If ever. I can get aboard again, said I. You shall have cheese by the stone. All this time, he had been feeling the stuff of my jacket, smoothing my hands, looking at my boots, and generally, in the intervals of his speech, showing a childish pleasure in the presence of a fellow creature. But at my last words, he perked up into a kind of startled slyness. If ever you can get aboard again, says you, he repeated, why now, who's to hinder you? Not you, I know, was my reply, and right you was, he cried, now, you, what do you call yourself, mate? How an old, from 1950s, ooh, ooh, oh, okay, Dune has interesting descriptions I can I can imagine all right well now Jim I've lived that rough um as you'd be ashamed to hear of now for instance you wouldn't think I had a pious mother to look at me he asked why no not in particular I answered ah well he said but I had a remarkable pious, and I was a civil pious boy, and could rattle off my catechism that fast. But you couldn't tell one word from another, and here's what it's come to, Jim. It begun with a chuck farther on the blessed gravestone, and that's what it begun with. But it went further than that, and so my mother told me, and predicted the whole she did the pious woman, but it were providence that put me here. I've thought it all out in this here lonely island, and I'm back on piety. You don't catch me tasting rum so much, but just a thimble for luck, of course, and the first chance I have, I'm bound. I'll be good. I'll see a way to, and Jim, looking all around him and lowering his voice to a whisper, I'm rich. Huh? <gasps> he's rich. He's rich. Is he rich? I think he's rich. I now felt sure the poor fellow had gone crazy in his solitude. I suppose I must have shown feeling in my face, for he repeated the statement. Rich, rich, I say, and I'll tell you what, I'll make a man of you, Jim, and <laughs> I know exactly what you're talking, oh my god, I, I saw a clip of that just now, and, well, not just now, but recently, alright, and I'll tell you what, I'll make a man of you, Jim, ah, uh, Jim, you'll bless your stars, you will, he was the first that found me. 
and at this there came suddenly a lowering shadow over his face, and he tightened his grasp upon my hand and raised a forefinger threateningly before my eyes. Now, Jim, you tell me true. That ain't Flint's ship, I asked. At this, I had a happy inspiration. I began to believe that I had found an ally, and I answered him once. It's not Flint's ship. And Flint is dead. But I'll tell you, as you ask me, there are some of Flint's hands aboard. Worse luck for the rest of us. Not a man with one leg, he gasped. Silver? I asked. Ah, Silver, that was his name. He's the cook, and the ringleader, too. He was still holding me by the wrist, and that he give it a quick ring. A quite ring. If you was sent by Long John, he said, I'm as good as pork, and I know it. But there was you, do you suppose? I'd made up my mind in a moment. And, by the way of answer, told him the whole story of our voyage and the predicaments in which we found ourselves. He heard me with the keenest interest. And when I had done, he patted me on the head. You're a good lad, Jim, he said, and you're all in a clove hitch, ain't you? Well, just put your trust trust in Ben Gunn. Ben Gunn's the man to do it. Would you think it likely now that your squire would prove a liberal-minded one in case of help? Him being in a clove hitch, as you remark. I told him the squire was being the most liberal of men. Aye, but you see, returned Ben Gunn, I didn't mean giving me a gate to keep and a suit of livery clothes and such. That's not my mark, Jim. What I mean is, would you be likely to come down to the tune of, say, one thousand pounds out of the money that's as good as a man's own already? <sighs> Tune segment where Daffy, yeah, I'm wealthy, I'm well provided for. <laughs> God, I wish that was me. Why, um, I'm sorry, I lost my place, I lost my place. The man to do it, would you likely think, would think likely now, that your squire would prov prove a liberal-minded one in case of help, him being a clove hitch? I told him the squire was the most liberal of men. Ah, but you see returned Ben Gunn. I didn't mean giving me a gate to keep and a suit of livery clothes and such. That's not my mark, Jim. What I mean is would he be likely to come down to the tune of, say, one thousand pounds out of the money that's as good as his own already? I am sure he would, said I. As it was, all hands were to share. And a passage home, he added, with a look of great shrewdness. Why, I cried, the squire's a gentleman, and besides, if we got rid of the others, we should want you to help work the vessel home. Ah, said he, so you would, and he seemed very much relieved. Now, I'll tell you what, he went on, so much I'll tell you, and no more. I were in Flint's ship when he buried the treasure. He and six long, six strong seamen. They was ashore nigh on a week of us standing off and on in the old walrus. One fine day, up went the signal, and here come Flint by himself in a little boat, and his head done up in a blue scarf. The sun was getting up and mortal white. He looked at the cut water, but there he was, you mind. The, the six all dead, dead and buried. How he'd done it, not a man aboard us could make out. It was a battle, murder, 
and sudden death least ways him against six. Billy Bones was the mate, Long John, he was the quartermaster, and they asked him where the treasure was. Ah, says he, you can go ashore if you like, and stay, he says, but for the ship, she'll beat up for more. By thunder, that's what he said. Well, I was in another ship three years back, and we sighted this island. Boy, said I, here's Flint's treasure. Let's land and find it. The captain was displeased at that, but my messmates were all of mine and landed. Twelve days they looked for it, and every day they had the worst word for me, until one fine morning all hands went aboard. As for you, Benjamin Gunn, says the um, hello alien invasion hello 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 magic sora how are you doing today were you doing asmr as well let me just shout you out really quickly hello robo token thank you for the follow you are my favorite customer. I'm sorry for all the keyboard noises all of a sudden. But hello, Suika9, and Nia Luigi, and Vinny Only Sips, and Asteroid Wrangler, and Gar27. You were doing ASMR as well. Yeah, I'm a rat. Hello, Nia Luigi. Hello, hello. I am Bodega. <laughs> Your local rodent bodeguero. And right now, I'm just um, reading Treasure Island. So if you feel like sticking around and listening, please do so. If you need to do any post stream self care, such as drinking water, eating food. Guame671, thank you for the follow. You are my favorite customer. Um, because I am Suika9, thank you for the follow. You are my favorite customer. Because I know I'm after a smur, I'm always like very sweaty and stuff. You're gonna get something to eat and head to bed. Hell yeah! Thank you so much for the raid. I really appreciate it. I hope the rest of your evening is great. Hello, Sammy Greco. I hope you're doing well today. All right. So, 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 so. Yeah, just a little stinky. Just, just the t tiny bit. It's just cause it's so hot out. Okay, um... Uh, bu 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 bu. Boys, I say, here's Flint's treasure. Ah, uh, girl. Girl. Good bud. Good, good, good bud girl. Thank you for this lovely art that I can use like this. It's so very good and I appreciate all that you do. Good bud. Good bud. Alright. Um, ba 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 ba. Where was it? The captain was displeased by that. Hello, Grace. It's good to see you. Um, but my messmates were all like-minded and landed. Asteroid uh, Wrangler, thank you for the follow. You are my favorite customer. As for you, Benjamin Gunn, says they, here's a musket. They says, and a spade and a pickaxe. 
You can stay here and find Flint's money for yourself, they says. Well, Jim, three years have I been here, and not a bite of Christian diet. Why does he say it like that? I don't... It, 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 it's, it's how the book was written. From that day to this. But now, you look here. Look at me. Do I look like a man before the mast? No, says you. Nor I weren't, neither. I says. And that, he winked and pinched me hard. Just you mention them words to your squire. Sam Greco, thank you for the follow. You are my favorite customer. And the heathen food is delicious. I'll, I'll take heathen food over Christian food any day of the week. Um, nor he weren't. That's the word. Three years he would be the man of this island. Light and dark, fair and rain. And sometimes he would think upon a prayer, says you. And sometimes he would think of his old mother. So be as she's alive, you'll say. But the most part of Gunn's time, this is what you'll say, the most part of his time was took up with another matter, and then you'll give him a nip, like I do. Devil food is better than angel food cake? Actually, yes. Um, angel food cake is like, it's very airy, and I, I don't like it. I, I just, there's something about the quality of the way it's flavored, that it's just it's not for me. Um, but <sighs> devil food cake's fine. It's better, but it's not. That is also not my preferred. What would I prefer when it comes to cake? Cheesecake. Yeah, it is it, cheesecake. It's a it's a. You know, it has got cheese in it. It's tasty. It's delicious, and it's creamy, and, and it pairs well with fruit of all kinds, and it, it's great. Carrot cake is extremely, extremely good. You, you have great taste, Sammy Greco. I love how, like, it's a very unique tasting cake, too. Like, it's, it, it can come in, like, a variety of, like, spicy flavors. I don't know. My brother really liked carrot cake, so, well, not liked, likes, like, like the present tense. Um, so every year for his birthday, we would go to a very specific bakery in the Bronx, because they make the best carrot cake in the world. Um, and, yeah, I can probably, if you... Um, are in the New York area, you should buy a carrot cake from Lloyd's. It's just called Lloyd's. L-L-Y-O... L-L-Y-O-D-S. And they have the best carrot cake in the world. Yeah, it, it, it's great. It's amazing. They do, they do the cream cheese icing. It's hell yeah. Hello, Fox Tato. Welcome in. Alright. Okay. Okay. Um. And then he pinched me again in the most confidential manner. Then he continued, You'll up and you'll say this gun is a good man, you'll say. And he puts a precious sight more confidence a precious sight, mind that, in a gentleman born than this, these gentlemen of fortune have been one hisself. Well, I said, I don't understand one word of what you've been saying, but that's neither here nor there, for how am I to get on board? Ah, oh, said he, that's the hitch for sure. 
Well, there's my boat that I made with me two hands. I kept her under the white rock. If worse comes to worse, we might try. Just then, although the sun had still an hour or two to run, all the echoes of the island awoke and bellowed to the thunder of cannon. They have begun to fight, I cried. Follow me. And I began to run towards the anchorage, my terrors all forgotten, while close at my side the marooned man in his goat skins trotted easily and lightly. Left, left, says he. Keep to your left hand, mate, Jim. Have passing out. Thank you for watching, as always. Um, they under trees with you. That there's where I killed my first goat. They don't come down here now. They're all mast-headed on the mountings for fear of Benjamin Gunn, uh, and there's the cemetery. Cemetery we must have met. You see, the mounds, I come here and prayed nows and thens, and I thought maybe a Sunday would about do, if there weren't a chapel, but it seemed more solemn-like and then, says you, Ben Gunn, was short-handed, no chapling, nor so much as a Bible and a flag, he says. So he kept talking as I ran, and neither expecting nor receiving an answer, the cannon shot was followed after a considerable interval by a volley of small arms. Another pause and then not a quarter of a mile in front of me, I beheld the Union Jack flutter in the air above a wood. All right. So, right now, we have made it to part four, the stockade. And because this is a whole nother part of the book, it seems like a good enough place to leave off for the evening. So, if there's any redeems you'd like to get in before the end, please feel free to do so. And let's see who I can read. Yeah, it's the British. They saw the Union Jack. It's time for, it's time for British times. Alright, who's on? Who's on? It's been a long time since I've, like, looked through the ASMR tag to see who's, like, not a fake person, since sometimes there's people who aren't necessarily live. Suika. I know oh, that's very kind of you to say. I normally do um ASMR on Monday evenings. Um uh, this is my first time doing it again in a while, but it'll be it it will happen weekly once again. Weekly, maybe more than weekly, but but guaranteed Guaranteed. Monday, Monday, Monday. Come, come on by the bodega. I'll be reading and maybe doing some cursed shit. Possibly. Um, you can check out my previous ASMR VODs 
on my YouTube channel, as well as normal stream VODs. Um, there is not a stream on the schedule for tomorrow, but it is the Wednesday where I um, hang out with um, my fellow Nakapoke members, and we do something, we do a thing. I don't know what we're going to be doing yet, but it sure is gonna be a thing. Ah, who's available? No, no more Dokoban. No, I can't do it again. I'm just like, oh, I haven't fed it any of these people. Right. Um, this person might be okay. Mm, this is, oh, Australian. Ooh, ooh, are you ready for, for an accent? I don't know if you'll see the accent. I am happy to give you a comfy stream. Thank you for taking the time to hang out with me while I do some reading. Um, they've been going for two hours, but it's probably okay. Um, tree of fish. I, I've never, I have never seen this person. We are taking a chance. We are going, going with God. Um, the G Jesus take the wheel, as they say. Oh. Oh, one more stretchy. Uh, hopefully it's a good Christian stream. For, uh, it, it is a VTuber of very pleasant features. You know, all those. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Jesus wouldn't have been able to drive. Okay. Okay, Jesus can't drive. Can God drive? Like, okay, if God knows everything, if God knows everything, God should know how to drive, maybe? Oh, if Jesus is, takes the wheel, does that mean that his water walking properties allow him to make the car go on water? So if, if you know, you're doing a carpool, uh, if you're doing a road trip, and you bring your buddy Jesus, you know, Jesus is along for the ride, Jesus is pitching in for the gas money and all of that. Um, you can take the car and go to, um, where can you go that's like on water? I don't know, road trip to Hawaii. <laughs> Jesus has to drive the entire time, but you can take a road trip to Hawaii. Exactly. He invented physics. He can he can play around with the engine. He knows all the like little shortcuts, how to like no clip through stuff and everything. All right, all right. So we are going to read. Tree is a fish. Um, be sure to treat them better than you treat me. Um, and other than that, um, the next stream that is scheduled. Is. <laughs> it. What does the fox smell? <laughs> uh, it'll be more bomb rush cyberpunk, cause cause that's good. It's a good stream. I like I like that game. It's a good game. Go play bomb rush cyberpunk. Go, go go tuck yourself into bed. Go go love yourself. Now! Alright. Love forever. Goodbye. 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 Later. Goodbye.